In this dose calc example, we're going to look at a very challenging milliliters per hour question. And this comes from Med Dosage Live session number six. Several milliliter per hour examples are worked out in that live session. Definitely encourage you to check that out. As a matter of fact, this is the last problem worked out in live session number six. Reading over the question, our goal, what should the flow rate be? 99% of the time when you're asked to find the flow rate, that means how many milliliters per hour. Rare instances, you may need to find the drip rate, drops per minute, but here it's milliliters per hour. And if you watch yesterday's video, I did do a milliliters per hour problem, not quite as challenging as this one. And I even went over a way that I would do it if I wasn't teaching it. But this example here is quite a bit longer. Let's jump into the dimensional analysis. Since we're trying to find the flow rate, our goal is milliliters per hour. So I'm starting off with milliliters at the top of my first fraction. Where did this come from? The drug label. 250 milliliters contains 500 milligrams of this medication. Now we got a long ways to go. That's why this text is so small here because we need milliliters per hour, which means we need to get rid of milligrams. This is the only time I see milligrams. We don't want to repeat information, but we do see micrograms up here. So here comes a conversion. One milligram is equal to 1000 micrograms. This allows us to cancel out our milligrams. We've converted to micrograms. And we did that so that we could bring in the 25 micrograms per kilogram per minute that we have listed in our problem. Classic double slash. You'll hear me mention that in my live sessions as well. We can cancel out our micrograms. We're getting close. We have milliliters at the top, kilograms and minutes at the bottom. We need to get rid of both of these words because we need milliliters per hour. We want hour at the bottom. It doesn't matter which one you get rid of first. I'm gonna get rid of kilograms. The client's weight is in pounds though. And if you followed my videos with dimensional analysis, I do not do any calculations on the calculator until I meet my goal. So I'm throwing in the conversion to convert from kilograms to pounds. This allows us to cancel out our kilograms. And since we converted to pounds, we can now bring in that client's weight of 182 pounds. And this fraction here means 182 pounds. That is that one client. That's what that one truly means, but it's more of a placeholder. We can cancel out our pounds. We're getting very close, but if we stop right now, we would have milliliters per minute. We need milliliters per hour, which is why I'm bringing in one more conversion. 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And students will say, how in the world can we cancel these out? They're not beside each other. I've never said they had to be beside each other. You can cancel out words as long as they appear both at the bottom and the top, no matter where they are in your dimensional analysis, it's all about top and bottom in order to cancel out. They do not have to be beside each other. Back to our goal, flow rate, milliliters per hour, milliliters only word left at the top hours only word left at the bottom so we've met our goal let's multiply all of our top numbers and divide by all of our bottom numbers and for the sake of this problem i'm going to round to the nearest whole number we get 62 milliliters per hour 